I am back home from my Disney cruise. That was an incredible experience. The post Disney blues have definitely hit. French toast, because French toast is the best thing ever. Look at it, it's so good. Breakfast is done and now it's time to get off the ship. I don't want to go. <laughs> Can I just book a spontaneous cruise like, and do this again? Next season, next season, I'm definitely coming back and doing this again. Our boarding room has been cold and getting off the boat. It's been so much fun, even though my mum couldn't join me for some of it because she was seasick. It has been an amazing trip. Off we go to deck four. We're officially off the boat. Hey guys, I am back from the cruise and I am back home. I'm kind of so glad to be home and back on solid land, but also really sad. The post Disney blues have definitely hit, but it's okay. I do have another Disney trip coming up in a few months. That post Disney blues feeling is not fun at all, but I now have all these memories and things to go through. It was an amazing trip. It was an amazing first cruise. I'd always said like if I went on a cruise it had to be Disney. I just never thought they were actually going to come to Australia so the fact that we got them here was awesome. The actual staff on the boat, all the crew members, wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. All super friendly, all willing to help. Like it was the friendliest cast members I have ever come across. Like they were amazing. Our wait staff were incredible, our servers, our host for our room, I loved coming back to the Tower Animals and the Chocolates every night, the entertainment staff as well, them hosting all the trivia, the bingos, everything like that, they were awesome. Also the performers in the shows and the actual characters as well. So I was amazed at how many people actually remembered you after meeting you once. There was a photographer that I saw at a lot of the character meets and every time I took a photo, because the first time he took a photo with me, I blinked. He always reminded me not to blink. Just amazing, like I met Belle on the first day, she remembered me on the third day, Rapunzel remembered me on the third day as well at Royal Gathering, and Tiana even remembered me from the night before at Tiana's place. And she remembered that I was sitting on my own because my mum had left the restaurant for a little bit. And she remembered that I was sitting on my own and then she was like, oh, I didn't meet you last night to my mom. And like, it was super sweet to actually have that interaction. She even remembered what color dress I had on. So that was a whole heap of fun. I definitely completely embraced the experience this time. We're doing all the different outfits and things like that. I've wanted to do that at Disneyland, but it just is a little bit harder because we don't have the ability of like luggage because now Qantas has limited us to one piece of luggage. Thank you Qantas. But we just don't have the room with luggage. Like yes, I could pick an airline or I could buy an extra bag, but I don't really want to. <laughs> nice to actually embrace the whole experience of doing some Disney bounds and some more like Disney inspired outfits with the restaurants. I'm so excited to book another cruise. My mum has tapped out. <laughs> she was not good, very seasick, which was a shame because obviously we had booked the cruise to go on together, but that's okay. It is, it's not okay, but it's unfortunately what you kind of sign up for. I could have been seasick as well. It was my first cruise that I'd gone on and I didn't know how I was gonna go. Anyway, let's get onto the merch because I could sit here for ages and just keep talking Disney all day. So I'm gonna show you some merch that I got. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I restricted with what I bought. I set out to only buy what I had originally expected for the most part. And let's get started to the merch. So first up, I got this little Duffy bear here. So this one is actually for my friend who went on one of the Brisbane sailings. They weren't able to get Duffy, he sold out. So she asked me if he was on my cruise if I could pick him up for her and yep he was there and look how cute he is he's got little mickeys he has a little mickey here as well he is adorable 
I'm kind of low-key thinking I should have gotten one myself, but also like I didn't need one. But it's so cute. And it's even got like a little book. It's it's adorable. And um, this one was $29.99. And all these prices will be in USD. And obviously because we're at sea, there is no tax included. I got some pins because I can't go anywhere Disney without getting a pin. I got this one here. So this one was actually marked down. So I think it, it was yellow. I think for memory, that was about $18, $20. And I checked my receipt later and realized that this was down to $6.99. So that was a bargain and a very welcome bargain. So if you're on a future cruise, make sure you look out for this one. Then I couldn't not get this pin. So this is the inaugural sailing pin for Australia and New Zealand. It's got Minnie and Mickey, the Kiwi bird, and also a kangaroo on it as well. Love both of these. And also very happy that this one was cheaper than what I originally set out to pay. Next up is my favorite category like what can i say i love collecting e i only got two pairs i'm proud of myself for that um i did want to get the pair that had the blue sequins and the white striped bow in the middle with the little anchor but i decided to instead go with these ones these are the disney cruise line ones they're a bit more of a brighter color they're not a lounge fly ear or anything, but they do also have some embroidery down the side and the little Disney Cruise Line logo emblem in the middle. It's really cute. The bow is like tulle behind it and yeah, they're really nice. I'm very happy with these ones. I don't have anything similar to these and I did like that they were completely Disney Cruise Line. That was what made me choose these ones over the other ones. And those other ones sold out like straight away as well. I wasn't going to get these ones. But I saw them in the shop and was like, okay, I think I should get them. It's the Wonder specific ears. So there's a bow in the middle with a little bit of rope accent. And then they're like, they're hanging off the side of the boat here. And super cute. There's no embroidery or anything on the side of these ones. But yeah, they're just really nice. And they did also have some of the 25th anniversary things as well. I decided not to get any of it. I was very tempted. As much as I wanted some of this stuff, there is a limit that I had to try and stick to, to some extent. So that's just where I was. On the last night, I actually ended up deciding to go get one of these Tervis tumblers. I'm always hearing Tim Tracker constantly rave about Tervis tumblers and how much he wants one. And this one's really cute and it's got the logo the logo of the trip and then disney wonder on the back just stainless steel on the inside with just a lid this one was originally 44.99 i had a sign to say that it was down to 30 dollars, but when i took it up to the register they were down to 19.99 yeah there were only a few things that were kind of marked down there's some things i assume they might mark down a little bit more a little bit later but um, yeah, for 20 bucks US, I am incredibly happy with this. I got two because one is a gift for someone. I also got this little ornament. So they had a whole heap of items that were 2023 Disney Cruise Line. So they were all dated and they all said 2023 on them. This was marked down to $7.99. Normally the ornaments are like $24.99 at least. That was a really good bargain. Um, and then on the back as well, it's got that. Very big bargain, very happy with that because I wasn't gonna get an ornament, but the $7.99, how could I not? Yes, I know, just because it's on sale doesn't mean I need it, but when it's Disney, it's extremely hard to say no. I'll also continue on with the rest of the 2023 merch that I got. So I picked up this shirt as well. It's in an extra large. I'm going to wear it as an oversized shirt or as a pajama shirt. This was down to $9.99. Like, these shirts are normally $30 at least. This one was originally $34.99 but was down to $10. As an oversized shirt, it's really cute. I also didn't really mind that it's dated because technically the Australian, like first Australian New Zealand season started in 2023. So that's okay with me. I also got this jumper, which you might've seen in some of the previous vlogs because I wore it on the cruise ship because I was incredibly smart and didn't take a jacket. I took a cardigan, but that was not warm enough. It's just this beautiful mint green color 
with 2023 and on the back we've got Captain Mini sitting there very cute and again yeah all dated with 2023 this was originally $60 and was down to $24.99 the last of the dated merch that I got was a long sleeve t-shirt it says 2023 here again i got this slightly oversized and then it's got captain mickey on the back and says the year i'll be at sea so this one was down to 9.99 as well um when it's long sleeve it's also a bit like a thin sweater it's a thin material i always find disney fabric like super soft so definitely super happy with those purchases my lucky last thing see i told you i didn't buy much actually picked up the disney cruise line australia new zealand specific spirit jersey so it's got the logo here and then in the pattern it's got all of minnie and mickey and some kangaroos and koalas and a kiwi bird and all that fun stuff on the back it says disney cruise line this is just in white. Um, this was, I think it was $88 or $89.99. Yes, normal price. This was not discounted. Some of the Australian merch was. This one wasn't. I, for some reason, have decided to collect the expensive spirit jerseys. This one will be going in my collection. I was also eyeing off two of the other spirit jerseys. I decided I didn't need it. So that's okay. We showed some sort of self-restraint. Some of it definitely some and as opposed to other things on the boat I didn't really buy any coffee I don't drink coffee I don't drink alcohol so I didn't buy any of those so I didn't have any additional expenses dinner didn't purchase anything separate so it was all included so that was like a good thing that it came to obviously gratuities is added on it was 43.90 US for our cruise and my mum and I each had gratuities that were then split between our servers and hosts and hostesses. Now I'm going to run you through some of the extra bits that I actually got on the cruise. So we played bingo on the third day, which was our day that we were in Eden in the morning and then were back out at sea, coming back to Sydney. And we decided to play the 5,000 mega jackpot one. So unfortunately we didn't get any bingos, we didn't win any money, but that's okay because we just wanted to have the experience of it. Winning one of the, I'm going to call it like a lucky door prize, but it was like a raffle thing. And I won a Disney Cruise Line notebook. So I don't know how well you can see it, but it's embossed in there. I used this for my characters then. So I got the characters to then sign on the inside. And yeah, I thought... That was just super cute then. A little notebook memento. A Disney Cruise Line key ring. I have to buy a key ring. I mean, I wasn't going to buy a key ring because I didn't need one, but that just made me feel better about not buying one. Also got a fidget spinner, which says Disney Cruise Line in the middle. And this is one of the fastest fidget spinners I have ever seen. A very random prize, but welcome. At Tiana's place, they give you beads which is super cute. You definitely feel like you're in the Mardi Gras, you're in New Orleans. I really thought that was a cute addition. And lastly, one of my favorite things, cause these are highly sought after, are my trivia medals. So on the first day we played the first trivia session, we lost, we went to another trivia session and we tied with another team. And there were only five of us in total between two teams. And she's like, oh, I'll give you guys a bonus question. So we both got the bonus question wrong. But before the bonus question even came out, we're like, can we just share the glory? Like, you guys want a medal, we want a medal, let's all just come together and <laughs> just have a medal. So um, the cast member was nice enough to give us all medals. So for that one, we got Minnie Mouse. And it just says like winner down the entire thing with a Captain Minnie hat. It is super cute. I'm so excited that I actually got one of these. I was stoked to even just get one. Um, but on the last night, we went to the last trivia session, which was Pixar trivia. I went down to dinner, only ate dessert because we had room service earlier. Just, I had to eat something at Triton, so I just got dessert. I quickly ate that, ran upstairs with two minutes to spare up to D-Lounge, and there was only two teams playing um, because the Golden Mickeys was on, people were at their second dinner rotation, and everyone was just doing whatever, so... That was great. We just sat there and played trivia and the cast members for that were amazing. We ended up losing by one point. The amount of times that I lost trivia by one point 
was crazy. That's okay, because other people got a chance to win who might not have already gotten a medal. So that was the way I looked at it. I'd rather more people have them and get to experience the joy of walking home with one of these medals. For well, this one, we did lose, but the cast member gave my mum and I a bonus question. And she's like, if you guys can get this right, you guys can go with the medals because like you lost by one question. She's like, it's the last night. Like, let's just see if you can get it. Well, we got it right. So we got a Chip and Dale medal. So this one is so cute. Don't know which one my favorite is. I am completely stoked. I'm thinking I might print off like a little sticker or something just to be like the trivia I won them in and the date. That is all for my Disney Cruise Line haul. I realistically didn't buy a lot but in some same things some people might think I bought a lot. If this was what I was comfortable with I've just knocked over a Tervis tumbler for me. I wanted to say thank you guys for watching the vlog series. I really enjoyed doing this one. It was a lot of fun. I stepped outside my comfort zone and walked around the ship talking to a camera. A lot of people were looking at me very strangely. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was amazing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my series and hopefully there might be some more Disney vlogs coming up soon or maybe even just some general vlogs for another trip that I've got coming up. As much as I have enjoyed this one, it is time to put this Disney Cruise Line vlog series to an end. But thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have a magical rest of your day and have fun if you're sailing a Disney Cruise Line soon. Bye.